The Phoenicians have exhausted the precious metals around New Tyre, so colonists have been sent out to secure new sources of ore. You are in charge of one of the newfound colonies, called Gades, on the remote Atlantic coast of Iberia. Your goal is to turn the small outpost into a major mining operation. To do so, you will have to learn how to hunt, fish, and farm to feed your people. Once you have stockpiled enough gold, commercial vessels from Tyre will arrive to take it back home. The power of the Phoenicians continues to grow. By now, your people have established many distant colonies, including Gades in ancient Spain. But the colonists in Gades are struggling to survive. Gathering wild vegetables is no longer enough to sustain them. The time has come to hunt wild game. A flock of ostriches can be found east of your town center. Send your citizens to hunt them. To hunt, select your citizens and right-click on an animal. Once killed, your citizens will harvest the meat and drop it off at your town center. Don't forget to create more citizens at your town center and have them gather lumber as well as food. You'll need the wood to construct buildings. Don't forget to build settlements near resource sites when you find them. Pote Stoma Dallas Stoma Zunte Kalos The prosperity of your distant mining colony will only be assured when you have a total population of 20 citizens. This goal will require more food than simple hunting will provide. You must teach your people to fish. Search along the coast until you sight fish out in the open water. Some likely areas have been marked with flags. In addition to sending citizens to specific destinations, you can have them explore the map themselves. To do this, select a citizen and then click on the round Explore button with the telescope and compass on it. Citizens on exploration duty search the map until you give them a new task to do. When you have found fishing sites, you will need to build a dock. Docks are used to produce fishing boats and other vessels. Have your citizens construct a dock on the shoreline near the flags that mark the fishing sites. Stoma. Pote Stoma. Carlos. Your dock is complete. Now you need to make a fishing raft, which requires wood. When you have enough wood, the fishing raft button becomes active at the dock. Click the button to make a raft. You can queue up more than one if you have enough wood. Dallas. Kalos.
Chipotle, Carlos, Talas, Stoma, Carlos, Zunde, Kalos, Talas, Stoma, Zunde, Kalos, Talas, Carlos. Your first fishing raft has been launched. To have it fish, select it and then right-click on a school of fish. It will gather fish in the same way that citizens gather food, except it deposits its catch at the dock. Your colony is thriving, but more food wouldn't hurt. It is time to plant farms. To do this, you must first build a granary. Select a citizen and then click the granary button. The granary itself must be placed on flat ground, but the farms around it can be planted on hills. Notice the green outlines that appear around the ghost of the granary when you go to place the foundation of the building. These represent where farms can be planted. By choosing a site carefully, you can get as many as eight farms around a single granary. Once the granary is built, the citizen who built it automatically plants a farm. Each farm requires a one-time cost in wood. Additional farmers can be sent from the town center. Queue up citizens in your town center, then, with the town center still selected, right-click on the farm. When the new citizens are created, they will automatically build a farm and start farming. Remember that each farm costs a little wood and requires only one farmer to work it. You are feeding your people well now. It is time to locate the gold mines you came to Iberia for. The mountains northeast of your town center are a good place to look.
Transforma. Talas? Stoma. Talas, Stoma. Kalos. Talas, Carlos.
Kalos. Kalos? Stoma! Kalos! Stoma! This area is rich in gold. Build a settlement near the gold deposits. To have citizens mine the gold, select them and then right-click on a deposit. Up to six citizens can mine one gold deposit. You are doing an excellent job. Ships will soon arrive from Tyre to collect the gold ore you are mining. Stoma. Stoma. The ships from Tyre have arrived. When you have 250 units of gold, they will load the precious cargo on board.
supplier is proud of the work you've done. The gold has been safely transferred to the Tyrian vessels. Now make certain you have 20 citizens, a granary, and a dock. You have successfully built one of Phoenicia's most important colonies. The flow of precious metal from Spain to the Middle East, however, will soon attract pirates and rival traders. New colonies will have to be created to protect Tyre's wealth. It is in this way that an empire slowly takes shape. Thank you. 